Well, let's see what's inside, shall we? Ever since this dry pour craze started, you guys have been asking so many great questions and I intend on exploring all of them. But the biggest question that seems to be on everybody's mind is what is happening under that top layer? So I built these really cool forms with this plexiglass fronts so we can actually see what the heck is going on. But so far, everybody's been using Quickrete, but I want to see what happens with other brands, specifically my beloved brand, RapidSide. Now, I have my predictions about what's going to happen, but let's stop talking and let's see what happens. Oh, well, that doesn't cover the lens very well. All right, we've got four contestants. We've got the Quickrete, which everybody's been using. I really wanted to test out Sacri, but I don't have Sacri in my area. So I ended up going with a, a Menards brand, Mastercraft. And of course, my beloved brand, Rapid Set. Now, I feel and I predict that since Rapid Set sets up so quickly, I think that that top layer is gonna set up so quickly, it's not going to allow anything else to penetrate that top layer. So to be fair to Rapid Set, I put up Rapid Set's version of a Portland base, which they call theirs 24-6. This is much slower than their other products, but they call it 24-6 because in 24 hours it has structural strength, and in 28 days it has 6,000 PSI. That's extremely bad for a Portland base. Now this video is not sponsored by Rapid Set in any way, shape, or form, and I'm pretty sure that they would not condone this. In any case, let's get these things poured and screeded. got these all poured and screeded and I've got to say I was very pleasantly surprised at how smooth I could get the tops by just simply running a steel trowel across the top completely dry I was not impressed however by the Menards brand the Mastercraft concrete how little product there was in the uh, the 60 pound bag these are 16 inch by 16 inch forms every one of these bags had a little bit of product left over except for the I, I couldn't even fill the whole form up with the Mastercraft I mean, I guess that's not fair to say because we're working with an 80 pound bag with the quick creep, but uh, with both rapid set products, we had plenty to fill the form up and then some. All right, we're gonna start by misting the quick creep. That's like two good mistings. It doesn't soak down very far. Let's move on to the Mastercraft, the, the Menards brand. And now Rapid Set's Portland base, 24-6. All right, they all got their first misting. Uh, each one of them soaked up the water anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch to three quarters of an inch. Seems like so far the Mastercraft, the Menards brand, is soaking it up the most on the first run. Then the Rapid Set 24.6 is coming in a close second. I did notice that the Rapid Set 24.6 is actually starting to soak up moisture from the soil, from the bottom. None of the other ones are doing that just yet. Then the quick read at about a half inch and the Rapid Set Concrete Mix at about a quarter inch. And to nobody's surprise, the Rapid Set Concrete Mix, top layer's already hardened. It's only been about 15 minutes. <laughs> they don't call it Rapid Set for nothing.
All right, so check this out. This is after the first two initial mistings that were an hour apart. It's about two hours later after that, and they've soaked up quite a bit of moisture, both from on top and from the bottom soil. It seems like so far the Rapid Set 24-6 is doing the best at soaking up all the moisture, whether it's from the top or the bottom. And we haven't even completely soaked them down yet, which is what I'm about to do right now. All right, now they've just had their initial soaking, and now I'm starting to see some moisture absorption going on here. Most of them have moisture absorption down to like an inch and a half at this point. The Rapid Set 24-6, there's almost no dry powder left. I would have to imagine that after the next soaking, that one's gonna be completely saturated. These other three, I think they're gonna need at least two, maybe three more soakings. I'm definitely seeing a lot of moisture coming up from underneath now. All right, I just came out to do the, the second soaking, and already I've noticed that the Quickrete, the Mastercraft, and the Rapid Set 24-6 have absorbed like pretty much 95% at this point, and that's before the second soaking. The Rapid Set Concrete Mix is about 85, I'm pulling this number out of my you know what, but uh, about 85%-ish absorbed. Now I realize that we're only seeing the front and we're not seeing the absolute center of these slabs but I mean, but that's really all we have to go by at this point <laughs> so i'm going to soak this down two more times and then done for the night and 24 hours later we'll remove the slabs stupid thumbnail pose all right taking all the forms off and <laughs> as usual I took one of the forms off too forcefully and went ahead and cracked one of them. As far as the top finish is concerned, they're all so-so. Uh, this really wasn't about finishing them. It was This was more about seeing how well they soaked up moisture, really. But with that being said, I did get a couple spalls, one on the Quickrete and one on the Mastercraft. And on the 24-6, the corners had crumbled a little bit, but Again, I really wasn't focusing on finishing in the first place. But as far as I can tell, they have 100% soaked up all the moisture. But we're gonna see about that. Before I bust these slabs open with a sledgehammer, I just wanted to take a minute to not only thank my patrons, but specifically, John Morales, for being my very first top tier patron. From the bottom of my heart, John, thank you so much. John, can't wait to talk to you on that Zoom call, brother. Let's see what's inside, shall we? <laughs> that was kind of satisfying. I would say that's a good three inches. That's pretty solid. Ish. In the center. This stuff is pretty loose, but it is moist. Stop giggling. And the further down I dig, the more moisture I am getting. Let's move on to the other three and see what's inside those. Oh. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that all four of them, none of them were solid in the center. And all four of them were fairly easy to break through. And as suspected, the, the Rapid Set Concrete Mix was completely dry in the center, whereas the other Portland bases, even the Rapid Set Portland base, they did have moisture throughout. So, what that tells me is that given some more time because this is only after 24 hours i strongly feel that these will be solid through and through this can't be a test of strength because we've only given them 24 hours that's just not fair this was merely to see what would happen after 24 hours being that the top is solid and so are the sides 
We want to know what was happening on the inside. Now we know. We are going to find out in two more weeks with my original slab if after 30 days it's solid through and through. Two more weeks, guys. Two more weeks. I, I definitely would not use a CSA-based cement for a method like this because it's just not meant to do. It cures too fast and too strong in order to be able to work with this kind of method. And again, Rapid Set would never condone something like this. Use the Rapid Set concrete mix when you need your project done yesterday and mix it properly. As far as the dry pour method is concerned, I just, I still can't rule this method out, man. I, I cannot rule it out yet. I think that what we've proven here, as long as you're using a Portland base, as far as I'm concerned, you can use this method for light traffic projects at least. But again, we will still know more in two weeks when I crack open that original slab and drive on it, drill into it, build a wall on it. I've got lots of stuff planned for that slab. But I, I really do, I really feel since we've got so much moisture in this mix, this is going to harden. I don't know that I could say that one performed better than the other, but I will say that the Rapid Set 24-6 had the most solid chunks with very little loose material in the center. And this one took me three good swings instead of one to two swings with the rest of them. But again, I want to cover Rapid Set's butt. Rapid Set had nothing to do with this ridiculous test. <laughs> so I will see you in two weeks when we crack open that original slab. <laughs>